Welcome back everyone. Today we're in the Giants Editor and I'm going to be showing a tutorial on how you can get the new Giants Editor that is 9.0.6. But I'm open into 9.0.4. That is the current one. And we're going to go ahead and get started. Hope everybody's having a wonderful day. I appreciate all the new subscribers. Welcome to the channel. Channel's growing quickly, and I appreciate every single subscriber. So let's get into it. Uh, I have a couple of little things open to make this go a little quicker, and I've already downloaded it, so we don't have to wait on that. But I'm going to show you the process. So I'm going to hover over here and find what I'm looking for. Let me see. Uh, we're not looking for that. We're looking for this. All right. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into uh, Google or whichever one you have. You could Boxfire, whichever browser you have, and in the search bar, you're going to type in GDN or Giants uh, Editor. GDN and Giants Editor would be a good search, and it's going to pull up uh, the GDN uh, line, and it's going to say GDN dot Giants slash I uh, mean not slash dash software dot com. You're going to click on it, and it's going to open up to here. Once in here. You know, you have to make a password. Well, you don't make a password. You register. They give you their own password that you can't even pick the password. And make sure you have something to write that down and write it exactly as it is. If it's capitalized, do that. If it's lowercase, do that. Make sure you know what it is. Make sure if it's a 5, you write it like a 5 so you don't confuse it for an S. Uh, a U, make sure you get that one good. So in a V, you know, some of the ones that are hard... The, if you're writing quick, you don't get it, and you don't, you can't get back in. So uh, make sure you get that properly wrote down. Whatever they give you, put your email that you, a current email that you can access because you may have to access it at some point. Uh, but that's what you would do. Put in your email, put in your password. First, you click register here. I'll go ahead and click it. It's going to pull this up. Put your username, your full name, your email address. You verify that same email address. You mean you just put that there. And you don't have to click the newsletter unless you want to, then click register. Once you do that, you're going to have options to go into a different area. And as you can see, it says home, documentation, forum, uh, video, tutorials, and search. Once we click it, you're going to see that it has another option of downloading stuff. So I'm going to go ahead to mine and click on this one. And as you can see, now we have one that says downloads. So basically all I bypassed was me signing in or logging in. Uh, obviously not to show my password. So that's all you got to do is once you've created an account, you should be good to go. It's going to have this. If it makes you sign in, just sign in. But it should probably sign you on in when you register, I would think. And then you're just going to be able to click over to the downloads button. And it'll pull up this page. And once it does, you can look in this list here, and you can see this is the old version, 9.0.4, and then this is the new one, 9.0.6. Now, apparently, it's been out since 9.11.23. I didn't realize it was out. A friend told me, and I looked, and I'm like, wow, okay. But I didn't even, had to be checking, so I didn't even know. Uh, but anyway, you can get that, and then you can also get the 8.0.4. 8.2.2 for Farming Sim 19 if you'd like it. I always prefer to go on and get them all, any that they have. and Because once they, after a while they get rid of it and then you can't get it. Well, you might could get it some other way, but it's a pain. And so you want to get it when you can get it. So I would say get it uh, if you're going to do some 19 stuff. Alright, and then there's some new things here probably, potentially. I'm not sure, that looks like it's already been there a while. Uh, actually, this says, oh, my bad, it doesn't say 9-11. Now I'll see what happened. It's read differently. It's 11-9, and that's today, as you can see. So, apparently I was just not realizing they flipping it. It's a different, uh, probably a diff from a different country, so they flipped the date. That's what it is. Okay, so it did just come out. Uh, anyway, so you can go down the list, and you can pick different things to download that you might need. You might need Blender stuff if you're going to work in Blender. Uh, anything new, just check the date. Like I said, that looks, uh, well, I don't know. That says 11:26, and it ain't there yet. Oh, it's 21. Okay. <laughs> I was like, no, that ain't going to work. All right. So that's correct. 
let's look on down we can get the tool you can get the tools you can get the different things that they have to check your work uh, so you'll know if it's good uh, all these things the dim converter this one the texture symbol uh, just anything you need look down the list and get it there's a modding book ebook you can get that different couple of different languages you can get the Lewis sheet so I would just look and see what you need and if you don't have a lot of space just pick and choose carefully if you don't have a lot of space on your computer maybe just get the Giants editor and maybe a couple of things you got to have like the, some of the tools and things and then if you're gonna do blender get the ex, uh, exporter plug-in uh, depending on which one you need and then some people have the other uh, the Maya or Maya I'm not sure what they say what it's called I don't have it and then they have this other one but what you would do is you're gonna click on it and you would download it so I'm not gonna do it but all you do is click on it and it's gonna download and I'll show you here it downloaded okay right there so what I'm gonna do is go to the downloads after after it downloaded if I can find it here we go and there it is 9.0.6 it just downloaded didn't have to do anything as soon as it downloads now we're gonna double click on it it's gonna open up and we're gonna get it going okay it says do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device yes you probably couldn't see that because some reason it goes black but that's that's what it said and basically read all this like anybody does I doubt it but then click I accept the agreement and click next then it's going to let you choose uh, the folder it's gonna tell you oh it's going here I uh, probably gonna change it to D Drive depending on how much space you have on C Drive I kinda have a little bit more now because I cleared up some things but I'm probably gonna do like I did on the last video and put it on D Drive so just click on browse pick the drive you want it on and put it there or if you have enough space on C drive leave it alone and just click that it's good don't 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 do this part if you don't need to okay so I put it to D drive and then I'm gonna hit next but if you wanted to leave it on C drive that or wherever they said it was going leave it there and hit next if that's what you want to do all right now it says we should set up place the program shortcuts yes where okay so to continue click next if you would like to select a different folder click browse create the program shortcuts in the start menu folder that's fine I'm gonna hit next yes we want it to create a desktop short I do uh, if you don't want it on the desktop don't don't do that but that's all that is next it's gonna go ahead and do its thing now it's finished and it's gonna say it's gonna give you the option of going ahead and running in the program right away when I click out of here and to view the text the new text that tells what it, the patch update is so basically I leave that you can uncheck it if you want I want to see it so I leave it and I let it open up hit finish and I'm just gonna X out of this like I said I don't want to delete or change any of this or replace any of this so I just click X to make sure that I don't and now you can see here is it's opening it up the uh, editor it just did so we'll, but first we'll see this real quick this right here is the, the notes uh, that it's done tells you what's been done how they've changed things what they fixed or did something different with you just go down read it and then you know and I'm not gonna worry with that I'll look at that in a little bit and then this I'll minimize uh, maximize close this and now you have 9.0.6 so you have successfully downloaded your John's editor now remember when you get in here go to the preferences go to file preferences and see that your uh, your installation path is correct because if it's not you're gonna have problems and it's not gonna do what you need it to do so I'm thinking it's probably correct let me see uh, let's see what we got here yeah it looks right mine's right but if yours is not right you're gonna click the three dots you're gonna follow your path to your game okay so it's wanting you to take it to the game so you're gonna go wherever your game is installed at you're gonna make this path go there so you're gonna go through your files I guess I'll show you real quick I do have a video on this but 
just in case somebody's not sure okay so I know my game is installed in D Drive so I'm gonna go to my D Drive which I clicked on already right there and I'm gonna go to Steam Apps as soon as I can uh, Steam Library double click Steam Apps double click common double click uh, Farmer Sim 22 double click that's where my game is installed so basically that's the path that you would put up to that right there you type that one and then you'd be good so basically once you clicked on that once you clicked on this and you start clicking through let me show you it's gonna take you there uh, where are we at sometimes I get lost with all the, oh, they they flip-flop it around when you get in here for some reason you just follow the path as you as you know right there and then you should I don't think you have to open that one then you hit select folder and then it should finish it then you would hit apply and then close it I would say but mine's already there so I'm just gonna click cancel but you would click apply and then close it okay and so that's done let me go back in here I don't know why it took me out did I just close that apparently all right let me see what we got here okay there it is I didn't close it okay so now I'm gonna do something real quick for the new people's never been in here before you're gonna click file gonna click new mod from game now I haven't updated my farming sim game so if and I think there's an update so it may it may not uh, show the map correctly yet because I haven't updated it so if that happens that's all it is I'm gonna click on that list and pick the mod map US you can pick whichever one you want you could pick the FR or you could pick the Alpine whatever you want click OK and then you can come to the end of this and change this last little bit here from the right in front of that floor forward slash forward really you can change the whole thing but you don't want to do that you want to let it go ahead and make this folder for you because it puts them in there then you can take it out of that folder and put it in your mod uh, folder if you want want it in the game but I just just for this video we'll just call it test uh, 7 and then that'll be like it's the name of the map so what if you knew what the name of the map is gonna be go on and name it if you know what you're gonna name it whatever in the world it would be Blue River Mountain whatever whatever put it there okay and just and don't uh, put any certain keys in there that you shouldn't like sometimes certain little keys other than just letters can be a problem so try to just keep it as letters alright and, and maybe underscores if you need to alright so I'm gonna hit OK and it's gonna create it it takes a second so give it time and hopefully it works quickly I got a lot of stuff open on the computer as you can see down there probably should have closed I'm bad about not closing stuff but I'm always working out of something and then jumping back on it later and I don't like to just start having to reload everything when I'm gonna work on it later so sometimes that's why I leave stuff open but as you can see it's gonna take a minute give it time don't click out of it don't bother it let it do its thing relax because you can jam it all up if you're in a rush this this don't like to be rushed alright and this is your console down here and you can get to it by clicking window and then finding, finding it in the list we don't particularly have to look at it it does tell you what's going on with this map if there's any issues it will tell you there are some basic issues as you can see but those are normal issues that they always have pretty much in the game uh, for now anyway till till it's situated all right so now you can see you got all your stuff here to start with you got your Elm Creek and we can click on that that basically shows you the, all the map I don't want to see that because that takes up a lot of memory all right, that's the gameplay, it's just showing the border and all the other stuff that's in there. All right, so we're gonna click off of that. We're gonna click on window. We're gonna bring, we, we already had the scene graph, that's this. So we don't need to click that one, but we do need the attributes box. So we're gonna click that and we have it. Okay, so it's over there, see it over here? Now we're gonna click user attributes. Now we have that. Now we're gonna click window. Now we're gonna have terrain editing. And I'm fine with it being there and I'm gonna click on window and I'm going to show you uh, 
that you can pick any of these other ones you need but most people don't need all the rest of it you might need material editing more than any of the other things at at the point of actually messing with some of that stuff but mostly you need to scene graph the attributes the user attributes and the train editing that's your four then you can probably go on and do that one that's about the five that I keep up and I keep the console up usually I, even if I don't look at it I just pull it down there like that and then there you go you can get started so when you click on something you can see the information you need over here and all the stuff so I'm not sure what all they changed uh, I can do something about that later but as you can see this is l looking to be what we got here over here in the corner most of it looks pretty much the same so far I don't see anything new with that I'm sure there is but anyway I guess we're gonna call that an episode here that's how you would get in there but I will show you real quick over here where that went so you're gonna go to downloads I mean documents and you'll see FS22 mods folder that's where it made that a folder and put that map so if I come in here, there it is, test 7. So if you, you would close the Giants Editor after you save it. Actually, let's go back. Go ahead and save after you've made this map. You need to save it, okay, before you go closing it out. Now it's saved. Now I could close it right now, yes. And we'll go ahead and hit save again, so we'll make sure it's saved. And then now that's out. Now I can take this and right-click on it after I highlight it and hit copy or cut either way I would hit copy and leave it in here and then just go to documents and then my games double click farming sim 22 double click mods double click all right come on double click and right click and hit paste and paste it in here and now when you work on your map it's in the mods folder and you can go straight in the game and start testing it and not have any problems so that's where your map ends up is in that folder in the documents and then in the my fs22 mods folder so that's where it ends up i just wanted you to know that but i guess what we'll do is call that an episode or if i've already closed it but i didn't make a shortcut but i guess i could try to do that real quick and show you let's get all this down should be on the desktop i don't see it though is this it that should be it i'm gonna right click on it anyway see this you can come in here let's see pin to taskbar pin that to click t pin to taskbar and it'll put it down here and let me let me click on it that says six I think that's the right one yeah so see now that says six so I just that one is the one it's on my desktop and I pinned it to the taskbar so now when I click on it once on the taskbar it's going to open, and there you go, 9.0.6. So it's kind of a lot, but it tells you how to get some things that you maybe didn't know how to get it set up and have it kind of the way I do, so it makes it easier when you follow my tutorial. I like to have stuff on the taskbar. Yeah, it can slow things down, but hey, I like it where I can just click, click. I don't have to mess with all that. But anyway, we're going to call that an episode, and... Uh, go ahead and end it but i hope you enjoyed i'm gonna catch you on the next one don't forget to hit the like button subscribe turn on your notification bell if you want to receive a notification every time i post a video goodbye everybody